Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I have Dunkin' Donuts. And we are in South Carolina at my brother and sister-in-law's house and Sarah's here. Say hi, Sarah. Hi. Say hi, Ellen. Hi. And we have Murray and Mabel. They may come, maybe not. And we have Luna Dog. Right, Luna, you coming? Come here, I wanna say hi. Come here. She does not want to say hi. The boys are at home and my neighbor is watching them and we're getting ready to go to the beach. But I went to a Dollar Tree down here and let me tell you, we went to a Dollar Tree Plus. And I'm so excited to show you what I got because I don't have any at home. So I'm showing you what I got and what Sarah got. We got these door signs. They're too big for me to show you. They're the leaners and it says, hey boo, these were $5. And then I bought this one with glitter, of course. And it is a remake of the Beware signs that they had last year. And I love it. And these were $5. Everything's gonna kind of be intermingled because that's just how we have all of our bags and stuff. I have all the cats around me. This is hysterical. I'll take some footage and put it at the end of the kittens. Well, here, I'll grab Murray. This is Murray. Oh, he said no. He said no. I keep grabbing them. That's Murray and Mabes is over here. I'll show you. Okay, this is what Sarah purchased. They have the black candles out. You can peel the plastic and she's gonna put on hers and I'll probably do the same. The black candle from Hocus Pocus. So she got that. I don't even know what she picked up. I was just on, I was in cloud nine. She got some doggy bags for Luna's poop. Oh, she got the eyeballs too. I'm telling you guys, it's Halloween time. Go get the eyeballs so you can make cupcakes. Oh, and she got some of the black gel frosting too. And I think this is gonna be regular. Oh, she's making book brownies. And she got the black gel. Well, girl, if you wanted me to be accurate, you should be over here. Telling our friends what you got. Helping you. She helped her helping me. And then she got, what are you using this for? Um, wax melt. Oh, she got this and she's actually using it for a wax melt. It's really pretty with the floral. You put your tea light. You can put oil in here too, essential uh -huh. oils. Yeah. Be careful if you have pets. We both got this. I'm dying. It is a big old bowl. This was $3 and it is a skeleton head. When the hands are holding the head up and it is, I love it. I got it in white, I'll show you. I think I'm putting a plant in mine, just sitting a pot in here for Halloween. I love it. And so that's all, I think that's all she got. Ugh. Her bill was a little less than mine. Okay guys, I'm home and I have to do my portion of the Dollar Tree haul again. Something happened to my video, but I'm going to, so I showed you what Sarah got and then I'm gonna add what I got at a store called The Pop Shelf. This is owned by Dollar General. So I went there and I'll show you what I got. I think that's everything from there. But first, the rest of our Dollar Tree Plus haul. I'm so excited. I am still so excited. Okay, let me get this bag over here. And my little container put it in. So, in no order, I also got myself one of these skeleton heads. Um, this was $3 from the plus section. And the signs say $3 plus. And it's a bowl. I'm going to stick a potted plant in it for Halloween. So, I grabbed that for myself. Oh, this is all for me, actually. Um, oh, and then, here we go. Let's get this stuff out of here. Most of this is seasonal. Um, I did get these cards, which are Seinfeld Trivia. These were $1.25. We've seen these before. These make great stocking stuffers. Just as a heads up on that. Look at these. I am obsessed, guys. I'm really, I love... For Halloween, the black and white stripe with a pop of purple. Like, that is what I prefer. And, I mean, just look at it with that purple. I love it. 
So I picked these up to put out somewhere. And these are, I don't know if we have these at my store because I haven't seen them. But these are on the wire. Um, and I might have seen something similar to this in the fall decor. This one is loose, but these are the last two that they had. So I will make this work. So yeah, I'm going to put these in just some kind of a decor. I don't know what yet. Maybe they'll go in with one of my plants. Who knows? Um, in the craft section for fall, uh, I found this. Or this is Halloween. It broke. But I can glue it back together. It's the slatted it's see it broke but I'll just glue these back on and then paint it but it's the scarecrow hat and I like that I'm kind of sad it broke but I can get it fixed um also I found and these are in three different sizes these are glass listen they're glass vials but they have their potion bottles so they say um wool of bat Witch's Brew, Trimmed Spider Hair, and then it just says Unfiltered Poison. Now, they all say the same thing, but they came in three different sizes. <laughs> Alex. I needed a thumbnail. They came in three different sizes. Alex, in three different sizes. So, you get these little tiny ones and these amber jars are everything. And then they have the, the large, and then this is the medium. So the medium is a little chubby. So that's how they measure up size-wise. So I grab one of each because I think these would be good to decorate, like, on a little shelf, a tiered tray, or put it, like, on my mantle in between some larger bottles. I thought that would be fun. What do you think, Alex? No coffee. It's tonight. It's late. So I'm having some crystal light. You want to say hi? I'm here. Oh, he says hi. They are very happy that I'm home with them, right? Okay, there you go. And I don't know where Wellington is. He's around somewhere. Um. Oh, I got these. I also got the black candle. And I'll show you with mine. So this black fellow comes off. And then what I do is I just take some goo gone and wash the outside to get rid of the sticker. So it's not a true black, which is probably why they put this over it. But as soon as you start melting these, you'll get that black color. So I grabbed one of these for a Hocus Pocus movie. Um, I think we're having a Hocus Pocus party to see the new movie that comes out. If you have Disney Plus, Hocus Pocus 2 will be out September 30th. Um, I grabbed one of these. These are just your freezer pouches. And this is for my, I use it for lunches and cool for my cooler. And I liked it because it was in pink. And this was $1.25 as well. If I don't tell you the price, it was $1.25. So everything, all the little stuff was $1.25. And then this is, most of this stuff is, oh, well, some of it's not, I guess. Okay. Sorry, I have plastic everywhere um i'm sorry what edible glitter silver and gold to decorate cookies and cupcakes and cake how fun is that you get 0.3 ounces or eight grams which i feel like is plenty um this is straight sugar just in case anybody needed to know so there's eight grams oh so there's two tablespoons this doesn't make sense. One serving per container, one serving size is two tablespoons. There is no way that is two tablespoons. Whatever. I digress. Edible glitter. I can't wait to use this. And I'll probably save these for Christmas cookies to make this year. So I did grab those. Those were a dollar. And I have never seen them around my stores. Doesn't mean they're not here. I just haven't seen them. And then they had in the Halloween section... This, it's ribbon, comes on a spool, and the spool is six feet. I've seen this years back at Target, and they were smaller, I think like three feet or something. But they're black spiders. I hope you can, there we go. Isn't that so fun? And it's kind of like puffy fabric, more than a ribbon. 
So these will, this will definitely get like hot glued on to something. And then they had pumpkins. They had a bunch of others. They had purple spiders. They had spider webs. They had, I didn't see any bats. That's kind of what I was looking for. But I think these will be fun in a planner, on a card, any kind of craft project. Tie up a package, but I just love the 3D effect of the pumpkins and the cut or the cutout of the pumpkins. So I grabbed one of those and there were several, but I was like, girl, you got to drive this stuff back home. All right. So I just have a couple things left from the Dollar Tree. Yeah. Okay. So this was in the dollar section and it was a dollar 25. Now I will take this off and put some better greenery on here. But I love the bones of this. This this it's a blanket ladder. And if I find them again, I may buy a secondary one and pop the word off the back and then hang some miniature little blankets. I just think this will be super cute on my mantle. Probably I will save this for spring. It reminds me of spring. You can also hang it up, but I will most likely take the rope off and use it as a leaner on a small spot. And then they had them in gray that says love. And on the back, it's one piece, the word home. So if I'm able to get it off of here without breaking things, I can reuse the word home. If I grab that, which I think is adorable. Um, oh, for how or for fall. Look at this. Oh, that was $1.25. This was $3. It was in the plus section. And this is sturdy. These are maple leaves and they're on a pedestal so they can be a table sitter. You can put decorations on here. You could paint it. I'm just going to kind of leave it and probably put some little pumpkins or something fall like or maybe some beads. I could do some wooden beads across the front, maybe even a small set. Ooh, like that set that I got before, we could just glue them across the front. I just think this is perfect and I love it. I really love the maple leaf. I just love Canada. Um, I had such a good time when I was there before, but they also had this in a whitewash and it was three different size acorns. And then they had what looked like zombie hands coming out of the ground. Um, also tabletop setters. That's what they're calling it, a tabletop. So I grab that because that's fantastic. I've got to find one of these Dollar Tree Pluses near my house. Then I picked up this and there was only one in the store and it's one of these A, you know, it stands up. Pretty decent. The front says sweater weather, oh, sweaters, leaves, and lattes, please, which is fantastic. And then the back is just a chalkboard, but I will clean it up and probably do a cricket something for Christmas, like a Christmas saying. And then I'm not sure where this will sit, but maybe on a table or an end table or on my front porch even would be nice. My front porch is covered, so I could set this on my front porch for fall. And it was $5. And it also, I guess it can be a hanging sign, although I wouldn't hang it. Maybe that's just for display purposes. I'm trying to see if it's stapled on there. It is, but it's going to come off. Is it? Yeah, it's stapled on here, but it'll come off. I'm just going to cut it off. I think it was just for display. Oh, see, yeah. And actually, I think it's just glued on. Doesn't matter. There. I got rid of it. I'll tr trim it up. And then at the bottom, it's just a ribbon that keeps it from opening too wide. But this is great. Five dollars. Can I help you, sir? Five dollars for that. Okay, get off of that. Thank you. That was Wellington, if you wanted to know what that noise was. That was Mr. Wellington laying on something he shouldn't have been. And then the last thing I got for Halloween, and it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. And this has the beads that you can hang it or they can just flop back and it can be a table stand. This was $3 in the plus section, which I think is a fantastic price. And that's a little metal. But look at the color. And I just think this is a great detail and quality. Oh, there's Wellington. He's smelling the blanket because Luna was on it that we took in the ride. 
Okay, next up, pop shelf. So I have never been to a pop shelf before. Um, I knew there was some in Myrtle Beach because I looked online and I had heard about some other people going to the shops and buying stuff and I decided that that needed to be me. That had to be my me doing that. Oh, but before that, I went on, if you saw my video from before, my sister-in-law took us to do the sky ride in Myrtle Beach and I got a t-shirt, the sky wheel. So it's a it's an enclosed Ferris wheel that goes over the beach and then they do a sunrise in the morning and it's like a 40 minute ride and you get coffee. I needed coffee at six o'clock in the morning. So I got that there. Maybe all this is not from there. Oh, <laughs> this was not from there. This is for my cast iron skillet. Okay, this is all from there. So Pop Shelf is like five below, maybe a Target dollar spot, some Walmart action, but it, they have some really cute things. So I will share with you what I picked up and what I paid for them. So first and foremost, I found this candle in an amber, so I loved that. It was $3. It smells so good. This is, it's called Fireside Retreat Citrus Citrus Zest Wood Smoke and Warm Amber. It smells so good and it's just gonna remind me of a nice fall evening. So I'll wait till fall to burn that. Um, and this is, I mean, this, I saw these at another store, not the same brand, but the same size. So this is six and a half ounce. So it's like the small candle from Bath and Body. Um, I saw the same size for $24 at some of those boutiques I went to. And I said, oh no, uh-uh. Then they had this. It's just my initial on a little bead and it was $1. So heck, it was cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And I loved the colors of it. So I picked that up and then this was $3. Um, I would have expected it to be $1.50, but it is kind of trendy, so there's that. Um, this is a tobacco basket and I've had them in larger sizes, but you can't see, but my mantle, I have my TV hung above it. So I'll need something for fall decorating that I can put under the TV. So I think that'll work. And I may just like attach this with, however it's straight, with some greenery maybe, or I could even hang it in here if I wanted, um, or not put these together. I just picked them up separately, but they also have this in multiple colors as well. So this dark brown, a light brown, a green, and maybe a white. I also have three shelves above my chair that this would fit on in the for fall as well. So it might end up there with some pumpkins and stuff for fall into winter time. So I grabbed that and did I tell you this was $3? Yes, $3. And this was in their harvest and it's called a mini tobacco wall. I wonder if you can order online from that store. And then I think, Oh, I got a tripod in there for $5, but um, I used that already. Just a tripod. This candle. Now, I will tell you, I got this same candle, I swear, at Target the year before last in a navy blue for... Um, it was $10 on sale. So that makes sense. This was $6. It smells really good. I don't know if it has the scent. It just says fall flannel, it's called. But look at it, it's a pumpkin and then, you know, the lid comes off and they burn really nicely. And then I keep these jars and just set them out as like pumpkin decor. It would look really cute if I had a, if I find the blue one in my bathroom and I could put like cotton swabs or um, Q-tips or something like that for fall or in my guest bathroom. I could put stuff in there. 
that I grabbed this. And this was the last thing I picked up. There were so many things to choose from, but it was kind of overwhelming. And I don't need a lot of stuff for fall, but it was just fun going. And I turned my sister-in-law on to it. And she's like, oh yeah, I'm going back there. And I said, yeah, I'm going to need to go back with you the next time I come. Because I think the Myrtle Beach store is the closest to us here in Ohio. There might be one in Kentucky. I'll have to look, but anyway um that is everything that i got at the dollar tree plus and pop shop pop shelf while i was on vacation last weekend down in merle's murals merle's merle merle's inlet south carolina all right guys i hope you have a fantastic day and i will talk with you later